Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our latest and first major release of the stable version of Firefox rolling out for 2023 version 109. And this latest release was made available just a short while ago today on the 17th of January. Now there's quite a bit going on uh, in this uh, latest release version 109. And just to jump right into it, so to speak, um, there is a new extensions button that appears by default now in the top right of the toolbar after you have applied this update. And um, that obviously is a shortcut to recommendations, extensions, themes, plugins, add-ons, and so on. And, uh, um, and if you have multiple extensions installed, it will basically streamline the toolbar area uh, with those extensions. And where you can manage those extensions, uh, you can pin, report, and remove extensions using the new uh, unified extensions button now available by default in version 109 and I actually think that's a nice move in the right direction as I always say. Now um, sticking with extensions, um, Manifest version 3 MV3 extension support is now enabled by default in version 109 and in case you were concerned MV2 Manifest version 2 extensions um, remain enabled and supported uh, in this latest release. And then just to do a couple of quick mentions, uh, the arbitrary code guard exploit protection has been enabled in the media playback utility processes, which Mozilla says improves security for Windows users. So if you are using the browser on Windows, that's a bit of a security improvement. And uh, there's a bit of an accessibility improvement as well. Um, according to the release notes, the native HTML date picker for date and date time inputs can now be used with a keyboard alone improving its accessibility for screen reader users. So um, if, as an example, Mozilla says, um, if or you are a user with limited mobility, you can now use common keyboard shortcuts to navigate the calendar grid and month selection spinners. And then uh, the Spanish and Argentinian builds of the browser now come with a built-in dictionary for the Firefox spell checker. So I think that will be a nice improvement in those regions if you are using the browser. Now, um, a couple of changes, and the first is on Mac OS, Control or Command, and trackpad or mouse wheel now scrolls the page instead of zooming, which should be a nice improvement on Mac. And then a couple of um, Firefox view changes. Uh, the first is that you can see the colorways theme has now been removed, and that was effective on the 16th and from the 16th of January, which was yesterday in my region. So Mozilla says colorways will no longer be in Firefox. Uh, users will still be able to access saved and active colorways from the add-ons and themes menu options. So colorways no longer available now by default in the browser. And then um, sticking with Firefox view, uh, the recently closed section of the browser now with Firefox view now as Mozilla says, equips users with the ability to manually close or remove URL links from the list. So you can now manually remove and close those um, uh, those URL links in the recently closed list in Firefox View. And then the last so-called change regarding Firefox View, um, uh, the empty state messages and graphic components surfaced in Firefox View for the tab pickup and recently closed sections have been updated for an improved user experience. So that's a bit of a mouthful, but uh, those are three uh, changes that Mozilla has highlighted in the release notes for Firefox View. And just to repeat that last one, Mozilla says the empty state messages and graphic components surfaced in Firefox View for the tab pickup and uh, recently closed sections have been updated for improved user experience. So there we go. And I have noticed there, there is a bit of a change. I haven't got anything in my tab pickup, but I have seen that that icon is actually a little bit different. So there are a couple of changes rolling out in regards to Firefox view. And then before we have a look at the all important um, security fixes, uh, there is a web platform uh, improvement where Firefox and Mozilla say the browser now permanently partitions storage in third-party context independent of storage access to align with other browsers and provide, and provide better web compatibility. So that's a web platform improvement in version 109. And then um, just to have a look at the security fixes, which are always an important component to the version upgrades. And um, to double check if you have the browser and to double check that your uh, browser is patched with the latest security updates, just head to your menu help 
about Firefox and as mentioned the latest version and build now 109.0 and if we click on what's new that takes us over to the release notes and I have gone through the new features uh, we're going to have a look at the security fixes there are changes we've mentioned a couple of um, various bug fixes and new policies have been implemented uh, in this latest version for enterprise users there's also a couple of uh, developer uh, changes and improvements and I mentioned that web platform improvements so if you want more info just click on what's new which will take you to the release notes and then head into the security fixes um, these are the security vulnerabilities fixed in version 109 and there are a total of 10 vulnerabilities that have been fixed and addressed uh, in version 109 so an important security update so just double check as as described and shown uh, that your browser is up to date and out of the 10 vulnerabilities four of those vulnerabilities that have been addressed are high severity which is your second highest after a critical vulnerability so important as mentioned uh, to double check your browser has been patched as it is your first line of defense uh, to the online world and when it comes to the next release uh, which is version 110 uh, that's going to be rolling out next month on the 14th of february 2023 and a feature we can expect to see roll out in 110 as i just posted on earlier today is that version 110 will include new gpu sandboxing and that's a feature we can expect to see with version 110 next month in february and i will leave a link to that previous video in the description if that would be of interest so that's it that's more or less what's new in the first and latest release um, for 2023 of the Firefox web browser version 109. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.